Hey everyone, what is going on? It is Anthony DeFilio here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be checking out the Gator Mini Vault guitar case from Gator Cases. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. For those who don't know, my name is Anthony. I play in a metal band called Spiritual Chaos, and I also like to review gear here on YouTube. So, if you haven't yet subscribed, be sure by hitting the bell and hitting that red button. So today we're reviewing what is called the Gator Mini Vault Guitar Touring Case. What is it about? Why would a guitarist need it? And is this the best touring case or road case that a guitarist can use on a budget? Let's find out. So on this case, we have latches on every side and corner of the lid here, as well as a handle. We also have a handle up here, as well as it's on wheels, and we have these magnet placements on the back for the lid, as well as when we take off the lid, we also have, it's hard to see right now, but I'll, I'll send, I'll put like a, you know, video visual that, so you guys can see this better. We also have a bungee type cord, as well as styrofoam on the inside for the guitar, the two guitars to go in. If I haven't mentioned yet, yes, this does only hold two guitars. So as for specs, that's, you know, that's as far as the case goes for that. But we'll now go over like, what are my thoughts? What are my opinions? And I'll show you guys in context, like how all this works together. So what are my personal thoughts about this case? Honestly, this is a pretty good case overall, considering the budget price and what you get for the price, uh, despite like some things that I might be nitpicky about that maybe other people aren't, I can give credit where credit is due. Gator is still a reliable company and they still make a quality product. And this is not a bad product by any means. Uh, for $550, it's, it's very good overall. Um, I'll, I'll talk about some of the cons later as we speak, but as for right now, I mean, the, the build quality of the plastic is not too bad. It's actually fairly sturdy. Uh, the latches seem like they're pretty, you know, good quality, like it's good quality hardware on them. Uh, the wheels don't wobble, which is, I heard like, is a very important thing because nothing is worse than when you're trying to tour or you're trying to play gigs and the wheels just wobble and makes all sorts of weird noises and they hold you back. So. That's a, a very good plus with this one. Uh, you also can put the lid on the back right here with the magnet thing. Uh, and also, uh, I mean, the biggest plus of all, I mean, for any type of case like this is you can just put your two guitars in here, not have to carry two separate cases, and then put the bungee cord on it like that, and then lock it, load it, and wheel into your next gig or rehearsal and, and whatnot. I mean. It just makes you know playing shows and going to rehearsal with your guitars that much convenient, that much more convenient, I should say. I mean, it's really a game changer in that regard. So that's what I can say about the positives. I'll now speak about the negatives that I've experienced with this case, despite that it is a good product overall. So before I discuss any cons that are associated with this case, do keep in mind, and just a quick disclaimer that what I'm about to say I am not hating on Gator cases, I am not bashing on Gator cases. I think Gator makes a great product, and I think the quality and the value you get for the price is really good, but just be wary that what I am saying is just to inform you, the consumer, so you can make the best possible decision for your touring or gigging needs. The first con that came with this case, for my experience, is Although this comes with a magnet holder here with a lid, the magnets are honestly not the most reliable or honestly very strong at all. I'm sure you can get like earth magnets or something and really make it to where it's tied on there. But like depending on the floor material, I've had this thing slide off many times. I don't know if it will do it with the vinyl flooring here, but I've noticed even like with certain flooring, it just doesn't stay on. See, doesn't even stay on but it did there. But it's not the most reliable when it comes to the magnets. 
That's the number one con I noticed with this case. The second con that I also noticed with this case is, despite that it still, you know, protects your guitar, like, I know styrofoam is not, like, the most expensive thing in the world to, like, put inside a case and whatnot, and I'm not trying to be hard on gear. I know this is a new product, and I'm sure there's still room for improvement as we speak, but the styrofoam on here doesn't feel like it has the most uh, sturdiness in terms of like security when it comes to when you put your guitars in them. It just, I don't know. I kind of question, is it really gonna like truly protect it? I mean, that's something that's just been on my mind. And although I have used this on a, on a few shows, it's still like, I still kind of question how reliable or how much the styrofoam really does protect it on the inside. As for the third con of this case, um, whenever I put like, so I'm gonna put like two guitars in here, there's already another one in there. So, in this one I might have to also zoom in, but like, whenever, like the bungee cord right here. Um, whenever you see like the bungee cord and all that and how the guitars are, speaking of like security with the styrofoam and whatnot, the bungee cord, yeah, although I'm sure it's better than nothing and I'm sure it bounces back. It seems kind of flimsy. Like, I don't know how well that would hold off over time because it doesn't really secure each headstock or like really hold it in place. So I'm kind of nervous. Like when I put the lid on, even though there's some styrofoam on the lid that's placing against here, like how sturdy is that going to be in terms of like vibrating and in terms of it, like, just staying in place. I mean, it's, like, overall, it still protects the guitar, but, I don't know, there's just some things that do worry me when I, when I am out gigging and all that. But, on a positive note, though, I will say, one thing I did, one thing I did forget to mention on, like, the positive, that is that because the, the border on the body does sit a lot lower, it is still very easy to grab the guitar in and out without damaging the finish or damaging like your axes and all that. So that's a good thing. That being said, I'd honestly give this case an eight out of 10 guitar picks. It's a good case that is reliable, but there is still room for improvement. But I have no doubt in my mind though that Gator will prevail with all of these things that they do need to improve on. And I'm not trying to be hard on them. I know this is a new product that just came out in 2023, despite that we are in, now in 2024. But overall, it does get the job done. I'm just like, for $550, I know that's cheaper than like the Scott Dixons, the NP, the Quantum Industries. There's another one too I thought there was. But overall, you get the general gist. It's still like, for $550, that's still cheaper than all of those. And it is probably the best bang for your buck if you want to go out on the road and play shows and have two, your two main babies in there safe and sound. Just keep in mind that some of those uh, things that I listed, you know, may be a disappointment for some, but it may not be a big deal for others. So take that for what it's worth. Overall, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.